even know that mental health is key in our development. Yeah. yeah. It, it, I have to have a stable mind. I have to be mentally fine to be able to execute whatever. Mm. Growth in itself, feeding, just taking a glass of a water. A glass of water. I have to be fine to even sip it. beautiful people welcome to another episode of the kings and the queens before i go into any other thing i'm going to let these awesome gentlemen introduce themselves starting with you isaac haweka aka is a wexi yeah i'm glad to be here i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy and learn from this episode of kings and queens mm. What do you do, brother? What do you do, brother? Book. Ah, I'm an artist, <laughs> reggae and dancer. I sing. I write music. I'm a poet. I am an actor. Dialogue, dialect coach. There's just a bunch of stuff that I do within my artistry. So that's why I want to call myself an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I'm adding something to my description of there's just a bunch I do. Mm -hmm. So that oh, yeah. so, so that it adds on to my bio. Okay. What do you do? There's just a bunch of other stuff I do. Yeah. But anyways, my name is Buka Chimi, um, recording and a performing artist, mm -hmm. uh, creative thinker. Like I always say, I love celebrating life. I'm also into the business of digital music distribution and publishing. Uh, Kings and Queens podcast is always home. So, why don't we dive into the topic of today? Mm. Oh, you have to introduce yourself. The Queen has to introduce herself. Come on yeah. now. <laughs> well, my name is Judith. I'm an actress. I'm a commercial model. I manage a restaurant at Kingdom Kampala. Uh, We're getting some all, free food. You all uh, better come and eat. Yeah, with the monies. And I'm so happy to be here. Well, today's topic mm -hmm. is, let me say, it's about mental health. For some reason, recently, we've been having a lot of suicidal issues mm. in different kinds of ages, even young children. And it is so, you know, shocking, alarming, worrying. worrying all kinds of negative feelings. And I would want to hear from you guys. What do you think is causing that? What can we do about it? Because it's something we should push far away from our society. I think before we ask ourselves the question of uh, what do we, what can we do about it? We need, to, we, 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 we need to identify the cause. Yeah. Where is it coming from? Mm -hmm. And what triggers that? Mm. So what do you think triggers that? I mean, there's a lot. Um, in my own perspective, um, we, coming from uh, a creative art space, mm. we are constantly knocked by depression, anxiety, from which what? leads to mental health. Um, when, when you come to the creative space, it's, it's not everyone understands the nature of what we do mm. and the challenges we go through. The only thing we need in life is someone to tell you, I believe in your dream. Mm -hmm. I believe in your vision, but we are often brought down. For example, I might wake up one morning and someone reject, we, we actually, even if I give my own example, you are creative, you are mm -hmm. creative. We face a lot of rejections. Yeah. And the, the more we get these rejections, we feel like it kills something in us. Yeah, you feel like you're feel, not enough. We, exactly. We have to you're do a lot enough. of proving, <laughs> prove yourself to the world, do a lot to show that person out there that is watching that you are worth it mm -hmm. and you have something to contribute to society. Mm -hmm. And also um, our family backgrounds, how we were raised. Mm. Some of us, we grew up not being loved right. 
or not being taught right some mm. some some lessons that have to raise us mm. as men or women in this society and we have to learn certain lessons the hard way and sometimes we cannot cope up okay well for me i would think that um if if we would center on africa in itself mm. we grow up in a society where we don't even know that mental health is key in our development. Yeah. yeah. It, I have to have a stable mind. I have to be mentally fine to be able to execute whatever. Mm. Growth in itself, feeding, just taking a glass of a water. A glass of water. I have to be fine to even sip it. Once I'm not fine up here, it won't even just be appetite. Mm. I won't take it. Yeah. I won't have the urge to eat. I won't have reason to live to begin with so it has to start from us understanding that for anything to go well or smooth we have to be mentally healthy yeah mm. and and this goes so deep it is so vast that in africa we still don't understand that mental state in itself has to be buffed at home from the time a child yeah. mm-hmm. is born exactly they have to be nurtured groomed a certain way to make them healthy because the health is going to begin here yeah your heart is going to ache you will have a headache or a back ache or whatever ache in on whatever part of your body because it is starting here yeah healing in itself Ecological. it can even be a, a physical wound but for it to get better mm-hmm you have to start healing here you have to believe that you're going to heal you have to know that you have to that wound has to go away how does it go away you get treatment you know you 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 have to feel you have to feel the purpose of making sure you heal that wound wherever you have a damage mm. so when you heal here every other physical body that is harmed it could be your emotional being it could be your physical being will heal so heal here and everything is going to be okay once you don't you will never be fine so it has to begin from the root how has this child been introduced to the world mm-hmm. are you giving them the best health care are you feeding them well are you giving because in africa a woman has to breastfeed everywhere else a woman has to breastfeed that child but by default we all know the purpose of breast milk to a child mm. so you know that it's the only meal this child should have for at least 6 months and you're not giving it to that child what do you expect of this child how will this child grow You get what I mean? Mm. So mm-hmm. let it begin with you knowing that your child uh, being loved will start by getting the wo- that motherly warmth that touch that bond of a mother wano when this child breastfeeds there is a bond that will naturally grow the brain will grow naturally within the first six months a certain magical way So once we graduate from that what are the basic things this child should learn from you even without having to speak or learning to do whatever how will this child crawl walk run what are you going to teach this child how close are you going to be with this child to know this is mom this is dad when they start mumbling to say whatever mama dada uh, um daddy or whatever Are you giving them the environment to even learn how to speak to learn how to crawl? Are you encouraging them? Are you behind them? Are you rallying behind them? It has to begin from inception of the child. Mm. It is born, you show that I am father, I am behind you, I support you, I love you, and I want you to grow into the man that I am or a better one. Okay. So I believe the cause is us not knowing that every every other problem that we have is psychological starts from up and then flows away hmm. yeah so if 
we do not have um, rooted within every African man or any individual outside Africa, wherever else in the world, that life in itself begins with a stable uh, mental health, we are not going to heal anything. We're not going to help anything. So it starts with you. Yeah, that's that's right. I get your point. But we've had situations where someone is really aware about all that, mm -hmm. but still at a point. At a breakdown point. Yeah. They get, you know, pushed to the wall mm -hmm. by a situation, you know. So I am just trying, I want to understand what really pushes you far, as far as getting suicidal. Because we've had, we've had uh, motivational speakers, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that come up with podcasts, talking, advising people, you need to be strong, you need to be like this, you're supposed to be like this. And at a time T in time, in life, social media, so, social media suddenly brings up stories. This person did this, mm. suicidal things. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe they are dead, and the cause is yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's mental. Yet they like, were aware about the psychological, whatever, the mental health things. But then they went that far. I would think that you not accepting who you are and you wanting to compete with others, you know... Compete the, with others? For example, like you mentioned, social media. Mm. Everyone has their own life. We have our own uh, backgrounds in our mm -hmm. families. Mm. So you would know your family's financial strength. And you would also know what your family is capable of doing. Mm. From the food that you eat, the schools that you go to, the hospitals that you go to for health care, etc. You are in a position to know what your father, mother is able to put at your table to feed. You know that they are taking you to, for example, Namaguma Umeya and somebody else is going to an international school because there's a, a difference in, in income and mm. status. Mm. Yeah. So if you do not accept that your father, mother is only able to take you to that school because they can afford that and you want to, who knows, maybe blame them or want more or just want to go to the international school or you want to compete with that kid in an international school because you feel they are cooler, because... Um, you feel they have better opportunities. You feel even when you are done with school, they will have that job that you won't have. That fact that you are not accepting who you are mm. and not allowing the process of time mm. to take due course pushes you to get depressed, to get anxiety. Mm. To It is you putting yourself under immense pressure that you don't need. Be satisfied with what you have, but fight hard to see to it that maybe you in the near future with your hustle, with the support of your... Because your parents are trying. Mm. They're taking you to Umea. Another parent might not be able to take you to any school. How about that child who doesn't even have parents? Are they just going to kill themselves? They might not even kill themselves, but they will fight to make sure that in as much as my parents are gone, in as much as I do not have the support that I need, what more can I do? Should I just keep going? Should I try to apply for, let's say, a bursary of sorts? Mm. What can you do to make sure maybe you lessen the burden on your parents uh, for tuition? What can you do? You could get a government scholarship, for example, as soon as you're done with your, let's say, um, um, HSE, if, if I would refer to our education system, then you, at, at university level or what uh, the people in the West would call college, mm. you are sponsored by government or whatever organization there is to sponsor you. So once you believe that 
Yes, things are not as good as they should be, as you want them to be, but they can get better. If you do not have that hope and you want to compete with everyone else, trust me, your go- anxiety is going to take you away. You will be depressed and you will suffer. Accept what you have. Okay. Um, I feel like, okay, that is good. But I feel like people need to learn themselves personally because you know we can go through the same situations and and you're good <laughs> and it depresses me everyone you has know? a different yeah, coping you need, mechanism you need to learn you you what you can handle how you can handle it you know for example marriage you know there are women that can handle cheating like the man can cheat and he'll be, she'll be like men and that's, then there would be, man. but, but, there but do, you be know, do you know? Do you know that could be cry? that could be a coping mechanism that doesn't help her heal? Not really. You see, the point of knowing you is knowing your strength and maybe the weakness. There are some uh, things that can the, affect you. The things you. that you would deal with. Yes, she might be that when it's cheating, hmm? mm. or maybe what can I say? Like beating. Hmm? Physically. Yes. You know, my man might slap me and I'll cry it off and, and let it be. And someone will be slapped and it will take her a month. She will overthink it like, what? Have I failed? But you know there are scenarios where someone inflicts pain on you and it, it gets to a point where it's normal. Where you're like, you're used to the pain. Now, I think that's no. you being mentally That's unstable. you bottling up. That's what I'm talking about. Um, recently, we were on a TikTok live talking about mental health. And then uh, the host asked, how do you, uh, I mean, he, I was in video. So I kept smiling over certain topics he was talking about. Then he's, he told me that, Booker, you see what you do, that gesture right there. It is like your defense mechanism. You get, and mm. he was right about what he was saying. Mm. Because I was trying to bottle up something inside me. By mm. showing a happy face and a smiling face, mm. you get. Does it yeah. make any sense? Yeah. So, so sometimes we have uh, body languages or facial expressions or, mm. or expressions we make. Or so, sometimes we have coping mechanisms that don't actually solve the problem, but then they keep sinking in mm. the which pain, is which is very dangerous. Mm. You get. Mm. Till you get, till, and you can never notice that you are you you are almost at a breaking point until mm. you are there. Mm. You get. Yeah. And if we are away from that a little bit, if we need to discuss mental health, then we need to have a deeper understanding mm. of what mental health is. Yeah. And what triggers the mental health. And do we have spaces where we can freely talk about our mental health problems? Because it's not something we are taught here. Mm. If we are not taught how to love, then we don't have the freedom to speak about the things that are hurting us. For example, uh, a few years ago, a Ugandan uh, in uh, UAE committed suicide. Mm. There's a girl who fell off a building. Yeah. Yeah. But do you know what happened? We were still on this live discussing mental health. And then one of the guys was like, by the way, that girl was my friend. And the sister is also my friend. She kept on calling the sister, Gamu Gamba, I want to talk to you. Something is bothering me. The sister will be like, oh, I'll talk to you. I still have something going on. I'll talk to you. Mm. All she needed was time. And maybe if that time was provided, mm. it could have either bought her some time yeah. or it could have helped her open up and bottle the bottled yeah. bottle. You get. Mm. So sometimes we might think we're okay, yet we are not. We might go through the day very happy. I think we always know we are not okay deep down. We, we only it's get to a breaking point. That will not know. We only get to a breaking point. There's yeah. a time as 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 pressed by what was happening in my life. And I talked to one of my friends and I told him, Now money, I feel depressed. So the guy was like, ah, okay, you see, you go. <laughs> like jokingly. Oh yeah. You get. Mm. But lucky enough, I had someone else to talk to. Mm. They brush it off. <laughs> Yes, like, it's like, ah, it's like it's just, so he Wouldn't thought I was just going through a situation, but mm. this was a series of events happening yeah. in my world. 
and I wanted to like open up and maybe have a discussion about it because if I get to a point of telling you that oh my nature I can be depressed mm. because I feel anxiety all the time yeah. you're like ah chija kugwe cho buka chija kugwe and you just brush it off but on your you know people you get because he part, he partly knew what was happening in my world and what I was dealing with mm. and he thought I can handle it but if I go I had gotten to a point where I couldn't do it by myself you needed someone so we need, to just talk about it we need people that pay attention i think we need to create spaces where mm. we can listen to each other yeah before we even think about i mean the professional spaces we are too quick at taking people to rehab but, but you could too slow rehab. at saving them from the early stay from the early stages mm. of depression You get, because we know anti ajagenderi they will isolate them i keep telling people that um of course we need these institutions mm. you get but they are not the first hand solution first hand solution is self awareness yeah. and once you get the self awareness your surrounding mm. the people around you we should create spaces where if you are closest to my life or if you're close in my life i should create a space where we can freely talk about issues joke about life and learn how to open up mm. if we don't create such spaces and we should learn to like tell each other how much we love each other because sometimes oh, yeah. it's just the love if i wake up one morning and i tell you hey bro i love you it <laughs> is unusual get? because <laughs> we Why didn't get that get? from get go <laughs> in in <laughs> trust me well it is in in our community you could say you you care about me but when you book a tell me you love me someone is going to, going to interpret it a weird way they would they'll ask you because from get go we were not told it's they'll, normal they'll ask you that that weird question and <laughs> <laughs> but i have a kid yeah, yeah i have a kid who i call a son in my life and we've raised him different people are uh, one of the producers has been in his life but there's no day that goes by when he doesn't come to me and tell me uh boko chimanyi kwagala nyo chimanyi kwagala nyo in i used to it's brush it important. i used to brush it off until when i got to a point of like this person genuinely loves me and they're expressing how much they love me mm. and he keep kept For telling real. me gwechukuru to bwen kugamba to chikiriza because i kept on brushing it off mm. but do you know why not because i wanted to brush it off but because i was raised with tough love hasn't raised out to love and it wasn't a normal word it wasn't said to me often yeah i get what you mean also i feel like are you done sorry uh, no it's okay you can you can say this oh, i feel like uh somehow people i don't know where we get it from but we feel like we should go out there with a tough skin like you're always tough you're unbeatable i am the queen i am you the know, what yeah. and then you really don't get that time to everything that hits you you absorb it you absorb it because you're playing queen or king exactly you're the playing alpha superman. yeah so you really find it hard to sit someone down and tell them you know be vulnerable like allow yourself like how to be how vulnerable. will they see me doing this crying that this is hitting me a whole me the alpha the queen you know So uh, I I th- I think some of these things happen because now the people you would even have to open up to are the people you you want to protect are the people that already see you as superman for example Jay you you're a friend of mine and the stuff that was happening to me and I didn't know who to talk to I knew I could trust you but i've seen you in a picture where i want to protect you all the time like you sh- you should be protected from even the things that hurt me mm. why because i know you're going to be affected a certain way i know you're strong and you could be that person that would give me an ear and you would encourage me and just rally behind me and support me but for me i felt like okay i should be the one to support you mm. because i felt you the more vulnerable one yet in that moment i was suffering and i needed someone if if you could imagine mm. so the stuff happening weeks days go by weeks 
and we're getting into a month and I don't know who to talk to. It took, I just give her a, I gave her a hint. I'm like, oh, my but I'm guessing I'll be fine, you know? And the good thing is you kept on saying, you, you, you can always talk to me whenever you're ready. Mm. I am here to listen up until when I was ready and I talked to you and I felt a lot better. Mm, I'm glad to hear. If, if I didn't do that, trust me, until now I would be boiling or I would be worse. I, I don't know what I would be. But I took the step to be like, you know what? Trust her and just tell her what's happening. You see, you were at a point where you could take a step. Yeah, Let's paint a picture, a scenario where someone is able to talk about it, to get to a point of talking about it, but then it's too late for them to heal from it. Well, again, I would um, still think the, this mental health thing is something that doesn't just affect a section of people. Mm. Like, you're not going to expect that person who is less privileged, maybe they haven't gone to the best school, or maybe they have been born in a rural area, they have studied in a rural area, they have um, worked in, let's say, farms and... It's, it's manual labor. It's not just them that face these kinds of problems. Mm. Everyone in their capacity um, faces this, this. They get beaten up. They, they, they get shaken. Mm. So it's not just about someone being less privileged or poor or so. It is not something that you should expect. Um, those are entitled to be, to mm. be unhealthy mentally. It is no, something that is going God. to affect the same way it is going to affect um, <laughs> deep down there. <laughs> so yes, it cuts across. You might be as wealthy as Sudir mm. and you will still be mentally unstable because there's, there's so many things that are happening in your life. Yeah, but also we need to know that this this hits differently mm -hmm. according to, like, like I said before, we need to know ourselves. Mm. Like self awareness, Gwenga mm? Gwe. Mm. Who Chichi said? Chichi someone chichi. said a point about about not being contented. I, I, I said that. Yes. So children, it's good. Okwe manya. Know yourself. Mm? Be content. Accept. With who you are. First of, all, in most cases, denial has really led us into dangerous positions. That's a fact. Yeah, you deny that this situation is really happening to you. But when you accept, know yourself and accept, let me say, let me say maybe campus. We've had campus students really getting depressed, committing suicide. And if they told their story, I think might not really relate because they will be like, look at this child you get. Mm -hmm. But for them, in their mm -hmm. position, they were hurt and depressed. Because, But if you know yourself, accept it. This is what I can get at this point. My parents can't put me in a hostel that is self-contained. But they can put me in. This is, this is what I can get. Hmm? Or let me say, I don't know, it's good to accept yourself. Know your strength. Know the things you can't do and the things you can do. Sometimes too, and we, we, we want to be other people. And we mm. do not know how the other people do it. And you want to be better. Who and that sometimes. is going to be so heavy for you. Yet, you, you know, you could, you could do something else, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to be you so bad. I don't know how you do it, mm -hmm. but I want to be you so bad. I want to also throw the heat. I want to, you know, simani but because I am not appreciating me myself and the things that I can do by myself mm -hmm. and be me. I am going to try to go extra mile to be you, which might be so heavy on me, but because I want to show the rest of the people that I can, I can be that. You, you want to I'm impress. going to absorb it all inside, you know? And that is going to kill me and kill me and kill me. So I feel like we need to know ourselves. We need to accept the things we can and cannot do. Mm. 
And we need to have healthy relationships, friendships, not just love relationships, but friendships. Most people have a lot of wrong friends around them. And because of maybe the, the, the status, you might want to be in a certain group because of the status. But because honestly, emotionally, or... these people are draining you. You don't need them to begin with. Yes. You need your own circle of people that relate with you. Who knows, maybe from those, you can elevate yourself a certain way. You can push yourself by encouraging yourself with each other, with the possibilities that surround you. Kati, let me give an example. Like for women, we have we have a tendency of having, you know, groups. And you know that group is known for this. That the ladies of class, you know those things, mm-hmm. and if if that is what is defining your group, in most cases, in most cases, there is no personal relationship mm-hmm. in that group. Mm-hmm. It's it's for the media, it's for you people that are seeing us. So at the end of the day, even when I have a lot going on in my life, I'm going to fear to Sharing. share because I feel like you're going to see me less classy. How can I be going through this, you know? I need to show you that I'm okay. So I feel like it's very important to watch the people you have around you. You need to have someone that isn't going to judge you. Be real to yourself. Yeah. Don't put up an appearance. But also, that aside, we've had students, primary students committing suicide. Did you hear that story? Sometime back... As 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 almost yes. as almost going to say that um, yeah we've had pr- a primary student see, committing suicide. Certain things stem from childhood and they just keep growing. They just keep piling up. You get and and we have we have uh, what is this thing where we used to go in the uh, football ground and then do physicals in primary PE. Yeah. If mm. that is taught, why not add uh, mental health? education or awareness in schools it would do a lot of justice to you get because yeah. once we identify we have a, we have well that is a good thing if some schools do but because of their curriculum but imagine mm. imagine if 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 uh, the ministry of education said now this is a must add on they mm. have to embed it you in, get in and education. and and also we take it from uh, we also take it out of school because not every child is privileged to go to school. And they also bring it in our communities, the churches, our mm. work the workplaces. Mm. You get oh, because now work. we us talking work. about this, we know Talk there is there is a problem. Mm. I'll give you an example. I I understood that my previous life, what affected me was partly from my space mm. where I spent most of my time and where I created my works from. Yeah. You get, and I knew that if I was to move on to the next space, I had to make them my closest friends, more of brothers, mm. so that if it da- it never gets to a point of breakdown where you freely talk about stuff, work, and also talk about personal stuff. Mm. But then, imagine people who don't have that. So we, at all levels, we need to freely have spaces where we can have a break from work and then talk about these things. Okay. Where the, our bosses mm. can really engage with us more. It, it could be just programs embedded in, let's say, um, um, if it is a, a workplace, for example, you have it in your operating procedures, standard op- operating procedures that mm-hmm. you don't have to force someone to have a buddy. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you embed it within your standard operating procedures that have that close body that is going to have your back, that is going to cover for you when you have an emergency. Mm-hmm. For example, if we work at the same company and you have me as that body within your section or department mm-hmm. that can chip in whenever you have an emergency, it could be you... Uh, your, your parent or guardian or whoever has gotten sick, maybe you have landed a gig where you, you have to go, let's say, for three days, I cover for you. Because I know, um, let's say, whatever you do mm-hmm. within your scope. So whilst you are away, 
I know exactly what I have to do with your clients, with whatever you touch. Mm. So where, when you are away, you do not worry if something is going to go wrong, you might lose your job or so. And you won't even be afraid to go ask your supervisor to let you go for what you have to go. Mm. For. You get what I mean? Because mm. we have a relationship where you know and trust that in your absence, I am covering for you. And by the time you come back, you won't have the burden of having to deal with a pile of work. Well, sorry. Holy, holy, holy. Sorry to cut you short, but that being said, I feel like there's one thing that we've not talked about. Society pressure. I hate the fact that society has given us a script to follow leave. from school, finish school, get out, get a job, and then marriage, and then, you know, society has given us a script. One, two, three. In a yeah, and that <laughs> is so stressing. Last time we were having a conversation at studio with Brand Beats, and we were talking about how people measure success to you having a house and having a woman. And it's like, mm -hmm. I work so hard, but I don't even get to enjoy the money that I make. Mm -hmm. I only make sure I have to impress people that exactly. want me to buy a house or build a house or have a plot of land. Or have, so or you're have not doing it for you, you're doing it for, for them. them. Yes. Do you know the pressure, the pressure you would get? Okay, now for us, the women. Mm. Hmm? Society created the fact that you're supposed to get married. Before an age, that's a chochideke. Yeah. If you are the firstborn, the mm. you have to set an example. You're supposed to get married before the younger one. Now, if life lives and your younger sister gets married before you, do you know the pressure you would get every time, even oh. when you visit the village? Just for yeah, just like, <laughs> like, like, what are you? Is there someone? You know, you know even that choose pressure, to find you someone. That aside, for the men, according to the society, a man mm. is a man. You are unbeatable. You can't be soft. A man can't cry. You're, you're less of a man when you're emotional. You get? And I feel like that is so much bruh, healing. Bruh, I used to be like that. I go to a point where like, if I have to cry, I'll cry. <laughs> Trust me. I've been broken before. Listen, that's a scenario that happened in my life where a certain uh, artist manager mm. and an artist mm. paid the radios and TVs and DJs not to play my music. We threw me it into total depression. Mm. And that point in life taught me a lot because I got to a point where I would talk to myself while walking. The car's breaking down. But I thank God I had people around me that supported me come out of that space. But I got to a point where I'm like, I'll never be hard on myself at any point. Mm. If I have to cry, I'll cry. As long as I let those emotions out. Mm. And if, if, if you called me and you have a problem and you just want me to listen to you and you start tearing up, I'll tell you, it's okay. Go ahead. It's really okay. Go ahead. Yeah. And I'll make sure I create that environment where you it's have okay to cry. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to break down. It's like, fine. it's really okay. Whatever society thinks, I am off that scripted kind of life. Mm. And as we sum this up, yeah, I'll add on to that. Mm. We need to understand what mental health is. Mm. What being mentally unstable is. Mm. We need to create spaces where we can freely discuss these things. You get. And also we need to understand what triggers these things. Because mm. everyone faces it at their own level. Yeah. You get. Like rich or poor. It knocks you in a different way. And no yeah, one has like, old. no one has like, okay, now this is the right approach to mental health mm. because everyone is knocked in their own way. Yeah. Everyone is beaten. Different. But we need to create mm. spaces where we can sit down and freely discuss and talk about these things mm. and understand that, you know what? Life is not easy, but we have to keep going. Yeah. Have to keep, you know. Yes. And we don't have to keep bottling up stuff. Mm. Like we and people bottle up stuff because the people next to them don't create that space where they can freely talk about stuff. So it's all all about vibe. Story, story. We are even creating friendships and relationships where we are just um, existing. I used to have a roommate, but we 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 didn't even share a deep conversation at all. But we used to stay together. Mm. 
Obi like eh chechi ro chechi ro bwake de wasuze bulungi tuli de tugenda tufuna echo kuli you get like yeah. he didn't know it like exactly by Str- strangers in the same exactly but is it what life should be like as you all have talked about sharing creating mm-hmm. safe spaces for your friends people around you there are people that don't really have that you know they don't have the safe spaces okay let me say in case you don't have that sp- safe space someone to share with is there a way someone can lift themselves up omuntu yenga ye down there you've been you're facing something can someone lift themselves up or it's a dead end if i don't have someone to share with i am gone it's a gone case yeah so i guess Okay. I think we should leave uh, that question mm-hmm. for the people that are uh, subscribed to the Kings and Queens podcast to join into the conversation. Yeah. And also the weekly episode, the weekly live sessions that happen on the Kings and Queens podcast on Friday. Every Friday. Okay, that sounds good. So yeah, um ladies and gentlemen, Kings and Queens, whoever is watching us right now, we are leaving that question to you. Mm. Please join in the conversation, comment. Don't forget to subscribe on this channel, like and share with a friend. Mm. Um but what's mo- most important now to get yourself involved into this conversation. That individual who might not have a friend or buddy they could trust and share their burdens to. Who, who do they turn to? What do they do? Mm-hmm. get yourself involved and um um let's get this over with don't forget kings and queens is going to be live on friday like it has always been get you can join us for that discussion still on mental health mm. thank you for watching see you next time <laughs>